What if there's a flood? Floods occur for different reasons. Short and local but extreme participation events can lead to flash floods anywhere. Whereas long-lasting rainfall often accompanied with saturated soils or snowmelt cause large-scale river floods. A flood principally is a natural phenomenon. Without any human settlements in the flood-prone areas, it is neither dangerous nor harming. But due to intensive settlement along water bodies, people have to deal with the risk of damages, loss and sadly even casualties. Fast-flowing flash floods transport a lot of sediment and are very destructive. River floods cause damage due to their long duration of up to weeks, as well as their contaminant load. So whenever a flood is going to arise, the authorities have to specially take a care of saving all the livelihood in these vicinities. During floods, societies have to cope with exceptional situations. Forecasts, warnings and well-functioning emergency plans help in saving both lives and property of affected people. We can show you how floods are managed during the event. And what has to be done after it to recover a threatened society. Measures like retention polders, proper land use management and floodplain restoration decrease the risk of dangerous water concentrations in rivers. The interests of many different stakeholders have to be balanced to reach an optimal flood prevention. In this course you will be IT specialist, moderator, engineer, economist and even sociologist at once. Along rivers, the water authorities install technical measures like barriers, pumping stations or flood polders to protect human settlements. The interdependencies between different measures turn the planning and realisation process into a real challenge. After this course, you will be able to tackle flood risk in the open landscape as well as in the city. Besides flood protection itself, planners have to consider, for example, infrastructure, recreation or nature conservation measures in the projects. Furthermore, they integrate the concepts in river management strategies on local, national and international scales. This course will show you integrated flood risk management, connecting people with water and water with people. Flood risk management is a never-ending cycle. Authorities, for example, maintain technical facilities and care about vegetation in the river sections blocking the water flow. Public warning systems and mission exercises of disaster relief forces keep the public prepared for future floods. We invite you to take part in our online course Flood Risk Management. Join us on our tour and you will see rivers with different eyes.